Greetings. Welcome to the video series, Miss Anthrope Explains. I'm Annie Throp, and in this video, I will explain the definition of academic writing. I want to remind you that anytime I ask you to think about something, what I really want you to do is to jot down some ideas or questions that come to mind about the topic I've asked you to think about. Thinking in this class is always done on paper or a page in a word processing program. You will need these notes when you return to class. When you enroll in a composition class, it's in your best interest to have a strong definition for the writing you will submit to the instructor because the definition indicates how your work will be assessed. It will also help you understand the thinking skills involved in crafting your assignments. In this video, I provide a definition that you will rely on throughout this course. Knowing this definition and using it as a guide will save you time, eliminate frustration, and focus your energies on mastering the course skills and content. You might want to copy down the definition in the space provided on page one of your course binder materials. Academic writing is thesis driven requiring the students to write about, from, or through material in a content area. The body paragraphs rely on evidence from the text and interpretation. Academic writing allows the writer to speak from an authoritative point of view and from a formal register on a particular topic. I adapted this uh, definition from micros. I'd like to draw your attention to specific language in the definition. Let's start with the term thesis driven. Take a moment and write down everything you already know about a thesis. You might want to pause the video. But what about thesis driven? How might that shift or add to our understanding of what a thesis is? Thesis driven means that the, the, the thesis drives academic writing. In an academic essay, the thesis dictates what goes into the essay and the order of the ideas in the essay. It also dictates what does not belong in the essay. We'll be spending a great deal of time during this course refining our understanding of thesis and thesis driven. The next language I'd like you to consider is evidence from the text. This phrase has two important terms in it, evidence and text. Take a moment and write down everything you already know about evidence as it relates to academic writing. You might want to pause the video. But what about text? From your previous academic experiences, how would you define text? How does the word text relate to the phrase material in a content area? Write down what you believe the relation is. The third term I want you to ponder is interpretation. What is interpretation in an academic context? In what ways have you interpreted texts in previous courses? Write down what you currently understand interpretation in a composition class or in an academic essay an academic class might be. You might want to pause the video while you do that. How does the word interpretation relate to the phrase to write about from or through? 
write down what you believe that relation is. The fourth phrase I'd like you to examine is authoritative point of view. What does this mean and how does it relate to writing academic essays? How might one develop an authoritative point of view? Write down your thoughts on that question. Finally, what does the term formal register mean? How or why might this be important in a college composition class? Now let's review the definition. Academic writing is thesis driven, requiring the students to write about, from, or through material in a content area. The body paragraphs rely on evidence from the text and interpretation. Academic writing allows the writer to speak from an authoritative point of view and from a formal register on a particular topic. Think some more on paper about the definition. Ask yourself some questions about that definition. Ask your classmates what their impressions of the definition might be. Come to class ready to discuss the definition and its application. Thank you for viewing this video in the Miss Anthrope Explains series.